Another canine officer is getting credit for helping track down a killer, the suspect who police say gunned down a DPS trooper last week. But while those police dogs are key to many manhunts and drug busts, they come with a hefty price tag. That's why a nonprofit raises thousands to buy, train, and donate the dogs. Canines for Cops says that the dogs typically come from Europe and can cost anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand dollars, including training for basic commands like learning to sit and heal. And on top of that, the twelve weeks weeks of police training they have to undergo can cost seven thousand dollars more. KXAN's Gigi Barnett shows us the value of those donations. This police partnership is brand new. Weimar police officer Casey Tooman and her canine partner Lido just started working together back in May. It's amazing how in such a short time he, we have such a big bond. Both want to see action like drug busts and searching for suspects. But without the donation of the dog from a group called Canines for Cops, this team would have been too expensive for the Weimar police budget. It helps us out a whole bunch. I mean, I don't know how we would be able to manage $20,000, $25,000 for a dog. This is the first thing cut from any police budget. It doesn't matter if you're NYPD, um, Austin police, they're the special teams. Christy Schiller founded Canines for Cops back in 2010. Earlier this year, she granted this dog, Odin, to the Waller County Sheriff's. Odin's first takedown came on Thanksgiving Day when he and his partner, Deputy Andrew Blauser, searched and found the suspect in the murder of Trooper Damon Allen during a traffic stop. That gift, now priceless. They've never asked for a vacation day. They never asked for time off. They're in it for the love of the game. Since it started seven years ago, Canines for Cops has gifted nearly 200 of these police dogs. The next police department to get one of these four-legged officers is the Laredo PD. I'm Gigi Barnett, KXAN News.